Hey everyone, it's me Raquel again and sorry I have been MIA but a lot has been happening as you can see in the title. I had my baby and she is going to be two weeks on Saturday so I have been super busy with her and as you can tell I look super tired but I am so happy that everything went great. And I will be telling you guys today about my labor story. So stick around if you want to hear more. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please make sure to do so. Hit that subscribe button, the like button, and then you'll be up to date with what's going on. This is just my vlog um, where I can talk about anything, post about anything I like to do. Um, so anyways... I had my baby on August 24th, um, which was a Saturday at 12, 11 p.m. And it was actually a very interesting experience compared to my first son. With my first, my water didn't break. I actually just went into the hospital because of some spotting. So I was a little bit concerned and they decided to keep me there. Um, and that's basically how I went into labor the first time um, with the matter of hours they induced me uh, and yeah so that's pretty much how my first pregnancy was and with my second I really didn't know what to expect the way I went into labor is I was 37 weeks at the time 37 weeks and three days and the doctors had already told me that I was already effacing, which means my cervix was already pretty soft. I was at about 60 to 80% effaced, and I was about two centimeters dilated already. So I was actually like that for a few days. Um, so what I was doing is I was just you know being a little more active trying to be out more i was doing my yoga ball or my um labor ball i guess you could call it so i was trying to do workouts on there um just you know just try and be active so friday evening my husband my son and i we went to chick-fil-a to have dinner and i had like the best spicy chicken sandwich ever like I normally don't order chicken sandwiches or anything like that I normally just order like soups anyway uh, we're driving home after and as we're driving home I started getting contractions but they were I don't know it was like I thought it was contractions but at the same time I thought it might be gas or something because it was just painful <laughs> And I actually got three of them on our way home and uh, they stopped like they weren't consistent at all it just happened three times and we just got to the house we were watching TV and I told my husband like oh maybe we should go for a walk because I was feeling really full and so all three of us went for a walk at the park so there's a nice park close to our home so we didn't even hop back in the car we just walked to the park and as we're entering the park walking I started feeling like a leak and I haven't felt that before um, I know being pregnant you know it's very hard uh, going to it's very hard um, to sometimes hold yourself uh, but usually like it happens if you're sneezing or laughing then maybe you can have a little leak or something like that which is normal uh, as you're further along in your pregnancy but that never really happened to me I was always able to control myself and this time it just kind of came out and I was just like okay wait I know it's TMI I'm so sorry I felt like I peed myself and I told my husband, I think I just peed myself. And he just looks at me and um, we just kept walking uh, to go to the bathroom. I try and found a, a bathroom and I check in there and it was just, I know again, it's TMI, 
but it was just not normal it was something i hadn't seen before it was like pee but at the same time um just felt like different and so i just wiped myself and came back out and then more started coming out but it wasn't like a gush so i wasn't sure if it, my water had broken at this point but now i was doubting it now i was thinking okay i think my water had broke just because i've read that some women have like a big gush of water come out and some just kind of leak so it made sense but at the same time I didn't want to be like overly dramatic and and um, drive to the hospital or make my husband drive to the hospital and having them tell me no you're good you're not ready yet go back home especially being that it's like a very far drive it's like a 45 minute drive from our home but at the same time I didn't want wanted to be my water that broke and something happened to the baby if I waited too long I wasn't having pains as I mentioned it's just that happened the leak we decided to just head to the hospital and um so my mother-in-law my son my husband and me hopped in the car we got our stuff ready i showered beforehand because i didn't know uh, what was gonna happen i we took all of our stuff with us just in case and so we get to the hospital and they take me in a room and they check me and the girl told me actually it is your water that that uh ruptured so we're gonna keep you here and i was like great I, it was just like a weird feeling like i wasn't i didn't think it would happen so soon um i know with my first i had him at 37 weeks as well um and it's just strange that my second baby i had at 37 weeks as well so I wasn't having pains I wasn't dilating um, they checked me I was about three centimeters dilated but I wasn't having pains my water was the only thing that had broken so what they did is they sent me and my husband they, they changed me into the hospital dress the ugly dress and we were just walking uh, every 45 minutes then we would come back and they would monitor me I started getting more consistent contractions as we were walking and about two or three hours into it, they weren't checking me every time for dilation just because they said um, they didn't want to cause a bacteria or anything like that. I'm going to cut the story short, guys, because it's, it's a long story. But anyway, so we got back after several hours of kind of just repeating uh, the walking and the checking me every 20 minutes. And I was getting a lot of contractions i could have swear i would already be at like five centimeters by the time we got back but they checked me again finally and they tell me that i was 3.5 centimeters and i was like what the hell how could this be possible like i was starting to experience the contractions and more consistent and things like that they said if it wasn't moving fast enough um by a certain time that they were going to add Pitocin to me to kind of get everything speeding up and so finally they ended up doing the Pitocin um, I was okay with them just doing like two millimeters and then uh, along the way with everything happening somehow the girl ended up putting like eight milligrams of Pitocin overall all the contractions just started coming to me at once and I was in so much pain I had asked them uh, first the girl that was taking care of me went and took her lunch so we had additional people come in to check me as I was having this crazy contractions then the girl finally came back and she called the epidural guy then they were trying to find him and he finally came in at this point I'm already like dying um, of pain and getting all these contractions like a minute apart each or less than a minute apart super painful and then uh, he does the epidural on me so it was like this was so traumatizing I did not with my first I as soon as I got the first big contraction I asked for the epidural uh, but this time I held on longer um, so anyway he's injecting me 
with the epidural and I cannot move because they you have to stay in a certain position and that shit hurts and then as he's doing that I'm getting a huge contractions like all of my front and it was just horrible because I had to like basically stay in one place I couldn't move I was afraid that if I moved that he would get the wrong I, I don't know all, all kinds of things were going through my head so I, I actually started crying just freaking out but anyway he was able to get the epidural and then uh, a few moments after the baby got there what the hell is my neighbor doing this just got awkward because they're going up on the roof of their neighbor's house okay anyway I'll just pretend I didn't see that so um, finally the baby got there after about 11 pushes and she started crying and it was like I just got so emotional that I don't even know what happened to me it was 10 years ago that I had my son I had no idea of anything and I don't remember getting that emotional. I think I was more scared than anything. So after that, everything was great. And we were only at the... I only tore a little bit. and only got one, one um, stitch. Which was great because I felt... I feel that I've been recovering and healing a lot faster than I did my first time. Um, just the whole recovery has gone so smooth. Now with the baby, she has been uh, up and down at night, almost one to two hours, every one to two hours. She's up wanting to eat. During the day, she's sleeping like all day long. I can't believe she's already going to be two weeks. My highest weight or my weight before pregnancy was 146 pounds. And I've lost already about 15 pounds because I'm 160 right now and I haven't really been trying to lose anything just because I am breastfeeding um, so I'm trying to actually eat more yeah that's pretty much in a nutshell guys what's been happening more recently everything is good i love my daughter she's so adorable her name is lexi jade i will be putting some pictures of her here in the video so you guys can see what she looks like and we were only in the hospital for about um a day so saturday we were there all day and then sunday um we actually came home we actually came home on sunday which was pretty fast my husband got a week off of work so that helped out a lot because we were both kind of like taking turns so that's pretty much what's been happening you guys just wanted to update you um, I plan to keep making more videos as time goes by once I adjust more to my schedule my new schedule my new routine now I thank you guys for watching let me know if you have any questions I know I kind of just sped through everything um, but if you have any questions at all let me know um, I know the baby was 37 weeks and three days she weighed six pounds 6.11 pounds and was 19 inches long perfectly healthy there was no issues which i'm so happy because um just i mean i thought her weight was pretty low but she was pretty healthy so i guess that's all that matters stay tuned i will be making more videos let me know what you want to see next thank you for watching make sure to subscribe and hit the like button bye